If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Tier Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are now going to be playing with Station Lucario Mel Metal, right? This list is based off of Celius Network's list that won the Pull Down Streamer Showdown. He was able to feed me to go into the top four and then he ended up winning the whole thing. So yeah, you know, this is a pretty good list. Now I did make two changes. Um, I do feel like the Berserker is pretty necessary so that Seishan can deal 250 damage and therefore one KO opposing Seishans that do have metal frying pans but we have Lucario Metal Metal's full metal wall to reduce damage taken by our metal Pokemon and also um, energy denial along with the crushing hammers that's basically the gist of this list, the gimmicky part about this list. So you don't get the extra prices, but you do get um, a lot of energy denial pressure, which not a lot of decks can stand. And as you saw with the Hammer, Hammer Station V deck um, that we played previously, that can be pretty, pretty impactful. Uh, Geomega, do I have the Rowlet and Executor deck? Um, I have, I recently, not too long ago, I played with Rillaboom, yeah. and not too recently, I played with Rillaboom that plays Rowlet and Lone Executor. Um, in Expanded, it's been a while since I've played with that, but I could definitely play with that as well. I've been, I've been wanting to play a little bit of Expanded as well. Um, just showcase a few interesting decks, perhaps decks that could be good and cheap to grind the ladder with. I think those could be good options to use. Okay. All right. And thanks so much for the host of Swift 2. Very kind of you. All right. All right. So then we see Intrepid Sword. Not the best, not the worst. Okay, so we're up against ADP. The crushings could help me deny the GX attack. So we'll see. All good, the Swift. How about you? Um, moist money. I could, I could showcase that if I have time. I don't. I'm not sure because I wanna, I wanna stream VGC as well today, but in Spanish. So I'm not sure. Hey, Sir Spanish. How are you doing? I definitely recommend you go check out my YouTube channel, Moist Money, if you want to see the Rillaboom Rowlet Executor GX deck uh, being played. Yeah, I definitely had fun playing with it. 
I certainly had fun playing with it. All right, no attachment to the Seijin is really nice. No attachment to the Seijin is really, really nice for us. Um, I mean, to the ADP, but on the other hand, my opponent just finds <laughs> enough energies up with a Trepid Sword to really hinder us here. I mean, I'm not scared about this station as long as the Lucar Mill Metal can get rid of the energies. Two Metal Saucers down, that's also really good. I may as well protect my station because that way neither Pokemon can get KO'd. And then. I'll just go ahead and warn you. Like I, I'm really inviting my opponent to just knock me out. I really don't mind. You're gonna move houses? You've been watching the Champions Cup's advantage? Yeah, yeah, like if <laughs> that was really unfortunate. Like I really wanted to play in the Champions Cup, but I was like, no, the limitless tournament is more important. But then <laughs> the limitless tournament just ended up um, not happening. You know, so that was really sad. I really, really did want to play in the Champions Cup. Um, but I prioritized the Limitless Tournament, and then the Limitless Tournament didn't happen, so... Oh well. You, I should do a special stream where I teach everyone Spanish? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Alright, so let's go Intrepid Sword. Spanish is a cool language to know. I mean, I used to do Spanish videos, it's just, it wasn't a great use of my time, you know? In terms of like, because it's my job, so... The amount of time I dedicated to making Spanish videos just wasn't worth the, the views I was getting and stuff, so... I don't know. Maybe I could try to do them like once... Twice per week or something like that, as, as special videos, I don't know. Like honestly, I've been I've not been very motivated to like stream and make content and stuff because wow, all these Pokemon catchers. I haven't been motivated to create content because there's no more tournaments to compete, right? Like the series is called Road to Worlds, and there's no more worlds so far. There will be, right? 2021, but that's been pretty demotivating. Make a separate channel for Spanish stuff. It's just that's that doesn't mean I'll get better views for Spanish. Like, it's not about splitting my content. I started with um, Spanish and English, TCG and VGC, and that helped me grow a lot. But, um, but overall, like, it's not about splitting the things. Like, having two channels will will split the revenue and the views and everything even further. So I don't think that's the way to go. Yeah, I, I like one thing is not altering the growth of the other. It's I don't know. It's it's weird, but it's just when it was a hobby, right? It didn't matter how much time I put into each thing. There we go. Because um, because like I didn't depend on it, right? I had a stable income, and then I chose to be a content creator. But right now, I. I am a full-time like Pokemon player slash coach slash article writer. Like Pokemon is my whole life, right? And I depend on like whatever I do for Pokemon, that immediately becomes the way I pay rent. So just making Spanish content for TCG was just not worth it. Yeah, you know? because I only have so many hours, right? Hours I put into work are hours that I need them. That I need them to be like good enough to feed myself, to pay rent, to pay my expenses. Yeah. So if something's not cost effective, if if something is just not generating me, um, like it doesn't justify what the amount of time I'm spending, or I don't know. It's just it's weird. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Um, okay, I can knock out right next turn this station with my Lucario, so I'm definitely gonna power up. So yeah, I don't know. Overall, it just it's it's tough. Yeah, it's not it's not as straightforward as making a separate channel or just making the content. Yeah. I do not work for the Pokemon company. Everything I do, I do for myself. 
everything I do, I do for myself. The Pokemon Company, other than the demo account, does not sponsor me or nor do I work for them in any sort of work. Alright, so I'm getting more need, that's okay. My opponent hits me here for 150 because our GXs cancel each other out. Wow, I just draw into the old custom catcher. That's super lucky. And yeah, the guy also had the Champions Cup was a VGC tournament, as, as big a tournament as the Limitless one. Yeah, but for VGC. And that one did end up taking place yesterday. Alright, Pokemon Catcher. Goes after my station, which I'm surprised, honestly. But I don't mind, because now whoever he decides to power up, I can just go after. With my double custom, so that's yet another three energies down. And this is just icing on the cake if I flip that, okay. Yeah, that would have been way too much. But I'm gonna make the best I can out of this station. And I'm gonna go ahead and break blade it. Like this is about energy denial. I am denying resources. There's now eight eight mental energies, I believe, for my opponent. It would be amazing, moist money, but I think um, just being Mexican immediately um, takes me out of contention because like companies they always have to not always, but it's a lot harder to justify hiring someone outside of your own country than somewhere else. Yeah, not the fact that being Mexican puts me at a disadvantage, but rather the fact that I'm not American um, or not European. Um, what is a demo account? Jomega, it's an account that uh, has four of every card. Yeah, it's basically a marketing account. It's basically a, a marketing account where it has four of every card and they're trade blocks. Therefore, um, therefore I can I can use them. I can make all of these decks and I don't have to worry about trading for the cards. That was such a big misplay by them. Yeah, I don't understand why they would have wanted to attack the station. I don't know. It was it was odd. Okay. They, they place so many energies though. 8, 9, 10, 10 metal, 3 auroras, and 2 water. That's 15 energy. That's just unheard of. You know? That's really nice. And she still has metal saucers left, yeah. I have metal saucers left, right? Yeah, I do. That's great. Uh, I'll go ahead and bench this. I'll go ahead and research. Nice metal frying pan. Nice stadium too. Uh, let's go ahead and thin this for this. Two metal saucers. So this is definitely a weird game. I'll grab the Marty. It's definitely a weird game though. Go ahead and attach. Uh, if this guy hits me for 120, then it's not a 2 hit KO. And I could thin the energy, honestly. Don't mind thinning the energy. 170 plus 80 is not enough for the KO, but I'm really looking more to the KO with this station. Well, probably not, actually. It's okay if my look KOs this, and then he KOs me, and then I KO him. Should be fine. Why did I only take two price of the station? Why did she only take? Oh, because she only GX for one energy. She GX for a single Aurora. She didn't use the two the two energies. No.
Okay. So she insists on like not attacking my people. <laughs> but now she's close to decking out. Fifteen energy, that's such a weird amount. I have two switches left and I just top deck the one I needed, which is really nice. Uh, uh, um, I'll switch, I'll Marty. She also flipped like a bunch of heads on crushing damage, right? She also flipped a bunch of heads on crushing hammers. Um, this is okay though. I'm pretty sure this is okay. Just go ahead and play one Metal Saucer. She is down all four Pokemon Catchers, so my station should finally be safe. Finally, finally. Another ADP, like, why bench that? Okay. Is that the second energy switch? The third? What? Oh my god, what is this list? <laughs> well, I guess it's Jirachi list, so that really helps. <laughs> it's Jirachi list, so that really helps. Yeah, she only GX for a single Aurora energy. Great catcher. Okay. Now I do have to be careful. I can't use my station now. Like, I take this KO, and then... Like, I would next turn, in theory, right? In theory. The only Pokemon I don't KO is this one. Does she have a fourth energy switch? Does she actually have a fourth energy switch? Well, the Great Catcher means I win, no matter what, even if this is active. Yeah, I don't know what you like. <laughs> what? All right, that was a very weird game, very weird list by my opponent. But Drachi less if she doesn't own them, then that might explain why. We're on a pretty, a pretty nice win streak right now. Hello, real games. How are you doing? <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. first yep pretty nice Just might as well bench this. <laughs> That's an actual colony. That is an actual colony we are seeing right here. Okay, <laughs> so flipping time it is.
Draw energy, nice. We got Sajin too. <laughs> Pokemon catchers are all the rage apparently. Double tails. Whew. Okay. So, nice top deck. <laughs> One card short. Would have been nice to just scale the economy here. Um, don't really want to crushing armor away that energy. I feel like I'm gonna prime it with some the research, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and Marnie. Uh, it really sucks that the next two cards were energies, and I didn't get <laughs> energy. But oh well. Um. Okay, double research on the Marty. And let's go Intrepid. I do hit an energy, that's very nice. The GX attack might actually be good, other than if my opponent has a lot of recycle energies. And there's the Whimsy Gods with its fluffy cotton ability. Okay, how many? Yeah, the Limitless Tournament, it crashed, not because of TCG though, because there were a lot of tournaments running at the same time. It just it just so happened to crash, but it wasn't the tournament that crashed it, that crashed the server. It was, um, it was like the whole usage of the site, not just the TCG, because there was an even bigger VGC tournament happening at the same time, so that wasn't, um, like it wasn't TCG that killed the site. Okay. So, not super scared of the damage. I am super scared of the Porygon though. That is what I'm super scared of. And the fact that I won't be able to get rid of the, the things from Toy Box. So maybe I should have waited for the Marty. I forgot about the GX attack. Yep, there's a Toy Box GX attack. Uh oh. Um, that's not good. So I really would like to find my reset stamp or a Marnie. I can just find both. <laughs> I can simply find both. Uh, the Marnie obviously attacks the hand more. Right, the Marnie obviously attacks the hand more. So I'm just gonna Marnie keep the Acrobike. Alright, and the double custom, wow, okay, I really feel like I should go after that Porygon, that's the scariest thing, I think, out of my opponent's whole deck, let's go ahead and Primate Wisdom, switch, meh, let's go for Break Blade, hey Ryan, I saw, I saw your post on Twitter, but why, now you're less, you're less members, right? What happened? It's cool that people are making their own tournaments, that's correct. Right. Okay, no threat of Porygon here so far, so that's really good. We'll keep the Metal Saucer, I think that's more important here. Go ahead and do this. Oh no, I need the switch, what am I doing? Oh god, that was terrible. I was so focused on keeping the Custom Catcher that I didn't think I needed the switch this turn. Oops. Oopsie daisies. It's not the end of the world, but that definitely wasn't great. Um, I'll go ahead and switch and delete the energy from the Whimsy Gods. 
Yeah. Just to lose the energy, why not? Give myself extra protection, that's not bad. Okay, okay, that's fair. Psychic Glove, that's fair. That makes sense. Porygon still, that's really good. Uh, might as well delete its energy as well. Nope. Okay, so because I have Toll Switch, I'm gonna try and KO this Wimsy Gods. Yes! Goodbye, Wimsy Gods. Goodbye, Wimsy Cutter Rooney. Two more prizes for us here. That's really nice. Meowth doesn't really matter. And you all like mail. <laughs> That's nice, right? That's nice. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Very nice. We got our 12 wins of the day now, which is really good. And yeah, I think that's where I will leave today's TCG stream. I don't know if I'm going to stream VGC. I do want to, but we'll see. Um, going to take a break, going to get some water, going to chill, and then I will I will hopefully be back. Either there's there's two things I want to do. Either I want to play VGC and have VGC content on the channel once again in Spanish, or I might just play Final Fantasy X. <laughs> I really want to finish Final Fantasy X between today and Friday because Friday the Final Fantasy VII remake comes out. So we'll see. But anyways, that will be all from me. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in today. Um, I'll try my best to be more consistent. TCG Pokedex, I did build TCG Pokedex decks. So if any of you are interested in playing against that, if you like the series, I did build a Togekiss, a Shadow, a Mega Empress, and a Belossum deck. I haven't yet finished, but I will. Um, all of them have standard engines, not all of them have standard base cards, but like Mega Empress is so bad that you shouldn't worry about it. Yeah, so... You want to play against me with your um, with your not so competitive standard decks? I think it would be really, really fun to give them a try. But anyways, that will be for another time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.